Hey girls, Maria Menounos here, author of The Every Girl's Guide to Life. Want to know my best tips and secrets for organization, travel, weight loss, beauty, fashion, and everything else in between? Go to bing.com slash Maria and pick up my new book, The Every Girl's Guide to Life. You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network, now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. On the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Dancing with the Stars. Tonight's host is Maria Canellis. Joining Maria will be AfterBuzz co-hosts Courtney Stewart and Ed Bowling. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Dancing with the Stars news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now... Picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, Maria Canales! Oh, oh, hey, hey guys, I was just reading Maria's book, and it says stretching right here, so I, I was learning how to stretch. Uh, no? Okay. Maria's book is doing really well. It um, actually made it up to the top three on the New York bestsellers list. No way. Yeah. And they can't keep it in stores. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And yep. she awesome. had her launch party for her book or her book party on Friday night, and she looked amazing. Oh, really? Beautiful. Jessica Alba was there. A bunch of other celebrities were there. She okay. looked fabulous. Okay. So, I mean, it's doing really well. So, congratulations, Maria. Yes, congratulations, Maria. I'm very impressed. Uh, wow. Number three, New York Times bestseller. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. I, I mean, and she had a lot of competition, too. I mean, when it came out. Yeah. So, yeah, good on you. Good job. I want a copy. I still haven't got it yet. Can you work that out? And but no, <laughs> the, and the stretching, the stretching was hilarious. By the way, oh, the record. Thank you. absolutely pure <laughs> comedy. I love it. Uh, you know, I needed to stretch. I went to yoga and to spin class today. I was double dosing. So, oh. Yeah, it was a busy day. But now we're here and after buzz and. We're doing Dancing with the Stars, Season 12, Episode 10, and um, we're missing people today. We Lots are. of people. So what do we, uh, well... Well, um, I, I got Troy over okay, here. Okay, you, you, you get Troy. Okay. I'm going to find out about Courtney now. Yeah, find out if, you know... Courtney's East Coast ass is supposed to be calling in. Did she say anything? Do we yeah. know? We don't have a um, record of what Courtney's doing right now, so I'm going to try and get her on the phone for you guys. Okay. Hopefully she was watching and not shopping. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm sure she's shopping. What is she doing out there? She is uh, apparently working. Yeah, that would be work. Oh, okay. Work. Of course, she went with her boyfriend. Oh, well. Who's she's really working. working? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Work, working it. Yeah. So speaking of working it, uh, tonight was guilty pleasures night. Guilty pleasure. And I think they worked it tonight. There was a lot of working it tonight. And I think the judges have been working the scores the last couple of weeks. We talked about that, didn't yes. we? Yes. MSNBC was uh, talking about how they they think the judges are scoring people um, improperly. Is that even a word? No. Uh, yeah, no, that's a word. Not yeah. properly. No, improperly is good. Improperly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Saying that they're just trying to keep their people on. Wow. It's, you know, and it would be NBC who would say that because they would be the victims of the skewed scoring, the improper mm -hmm. scoring. So um, I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah, like, <clears throat> hey, she's on the Disney, and guess what? Disney and ABC are friends, and we like to go like this. <laughs> Chelsea Kane, and you're staying. End, and at the end, we have a Chelsea Kane baby, and she's more famous than before. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because why she won? Why she yes. won? She got high scores because we gave them to her. Yes, we, we wanted her to have high scores because then she can talk about how she loves ABC, and guess what? ABC loves Disney, and then they could go <laughs> talk about ABC and, and and Disney more and more <laughs> and more. Who won? Chelsea did. ABC, ABC Disney. Disney, Disney, yay! 
<laughs> oh man. I, mean, I don't know. Troy, like, what okay. do you think? I, I, loved, I loved that. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't it wasn't as violent as all that. Oh, oops. For those who can't see, DJ Jesse's uh, his mimicking of what Maria just did. His was much more violent. No, I it was the mimicking of the both of you guys going back and forth with well, each what, other just between you... Disney and ABC. Okay, whatever. Um, no, no. What I was gonna say was okay. So if Chelsea is benefiting from the ABC, mm-hmm. yes. Um, then like, who is NBC complaining? They're just complaining that. M- that the NBC ABC is playing favorites, or is there like an NBC person there? I don't know. Let's uh, let's go through them. Um, we've got Kirsty, and Kirsty's kind of been all over the place. Filmed whatever. Right, right, uh, right. Chris, I'm not sure if NBC is affiliated, uh, affiliated with, the... with WWE. Does anybody know this, Jesse? Do you know? Uh, he's gonna look it up. Fabulous, thank you. I tried to look it up, but then my phone was doing weird stuff. What a crazy day. Um, Romeo, no, that one. You know, be. your phone's probably like an ABC phone or something. It it totally is. Yeah. It's like, That's... I don't like you. You pick on our show, and I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't <laughs> you, pick on it. I trying... say what's real. <laughs> I talk about what's real. Wow. <laughs> wow, Maria, <laughs> Randy, Macho Man, Savage, Can- <laughs> Canellas. Alrighty. <laughs> and, and WWE has worked with NBC before. Uh huh. See? Okay. Multiple occasions. Yeah, okay. they're, they're out to get them. They're out to get them. Plus, every time someone goes on there, they disappear. Like Stacey Keebler disappeared. Oh my gosh, she's gone. She's gone. I can't yes. see her right now. I can't see her. She's, not, she's gone. Man. Just gone. Haven't seen her in a while. Okay. Um. So, Petra's gone. Aww. I liked Petra because she was nice. Well, I, we like nice people. Mm hmm. You know, yeah. we're dancing here. We are dancing, but and we need nice ones too. She was nice. She was nice. She had we 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 had compassion for her. You mm-hmm. know, all of her the obstacles she had to overcome mm-hmm. to be there. Um, she had a very. I, I was affected by her tears. Mm-hmm. She was very emotional. Yes, yeah. I do think they um, scored her a little high when okay. she was doing the waltz. Was that yeah. the waltz? Yeah, there or was that well, the stick man waltz? Every dance she did was the waltz. Oh yeah, that's yeah, true. Everyone, and everything was, was like long and then weird ab. Yes. But she's gone now, so she's gone. you know, good luck to you and all your charity work, and we think you're sweet. Um, Toby Keith played last week, of course, because it was all about American Week, and yes. so Toby Keith is like, "I'm an American. I'm gonna come on there and be American." And why does Toby Keith get the high pitched <laughs> woman's voice? Because and, I was thinking and about Maria the Maria <laughs> gives herself Randy Macho Man Savage. Because when I was thinking about Toby Keith, I was actually thinking about the Dixie Chicks, and I wonder if there was problems there again. So I was like, I, I don't like the Dixie Chicks. But actually, that was the Dixie Chicks voice coming out when I was doing it. <laughs> I love America. I sing American songs. I wear my hat. It's a cowboy hat. I go out there and sing not so fabulous. Just saying. <laughs> and then Psycho Mike was on there, which was weird. And he was doing this whole thing about calling people out on what they did. And Heinz Ward farted. And yeah, okay. totally showed it. Whoa. Like he went to do something and he was like, Pfft. <laughs> oh god how do you recover from that i don't know oh, wave your man. hands like this i'm sorry <laughs> i didn't mean to fart <laughs> yeah and then uh chelsea lost her boobs or her chicken cutlets they fell off and went flying wow. yeah but why would she wear that bra when she was no you, you when you wear that thing you have to wear something over it uh-huh, you don't uh-huh, wear uh-huh, that uh-huh. thing that once you sweat it just slides off and falls on the floor i i missed this part yeah that was all in the uh, uh-huh. package that psycho mike was doing it's starting to sound like i shouldn't have missed it though well maybe go back and watch it it's pretty funny actually okay. he was like the whistleblower and he's like i'm the sexiest man ever and he wasn't the sexiest man ever but no was, wait a minute you're saying that now you guys weren't saying that before well look at his biceps he was talking about farting and stuff and then i don't like men that say they're sexy like, let me say Just it. be sexy, but don't be say sexy. you're sexy. Yeah. Like, if Max came out next week, I, I, but for one, shave the beard now, and now I'm done. But we'll get to that in a minute. Um, yeah. Yeah, shirt so, open to the waist, but go ahead. Mm-hmm, yeah, I don't like that either. Um, so it was Guilty Pleasures Week, so we had Hanson. Yes. Yay. Yes. 
Made total sense. You, okay, so what? Guilty pleasure, mbop, all that stuff. They were good. They were awesome. We enjoyed watching Hanson. Everything yeah. they did tonight. Everything. When you went back and sang older songs, yep. when you did like little snippets here and there. I wonderful. Mean, right? They did Ice Ice Baby, and we were like, oh, yeah. yes. Sounds good. Okay, yes. I feel this. Yes. And what was wonderful, it, oh, thank you. Um, they sounded better now than they did then. I feel so guilty. I, I feel guilty as well. But I am pleasuring myself currently. And wow. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, Welcome back to the show, kitties. I'm just kidding. You actually did that just now. <laughs> I'm just playing. Well, that's okay because you know what? You don't have creepy hands. I do not. They're actually very nice. Yeah, you very know. nice, yeah. non creepy hands. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, do whatever you got to do. You know, I, I was just saying, just saying. But Brooke's dress did not make me want to pleasure myself at all. No. And oh. why would trash cans and tra- <laughs> trash bags and cellophane put together for a dress? Was it Eco Week? <laughs> no, you know, what's the deal? <laughs> Look like all those twist ties like cut up into little pieces and then yes. just stuck on and stuck on. And it looked uncomfortable. Like she couldn't move her shoulders and then her body looked like big. It was like right. armor. Yes, you said it looked like it hurt. It looked like painful. Yeah, and I'm thinking that dresses are probably not supposed to look like they, they're painful. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't you know said, about fashion. You said it earlier. You're like, why didn't she just be like, hell no, I'm not wearing this. Just go back. Exactly. I'm not going on the show this week. Forget it. Bring me something better. Just bring me some sweats. I mean, it's like, you know, at least have a choice, right? Have two dresses in case. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just go there and you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. No, you're on no. TV. You go, this makes me look horrible. <sighs> And she is such a hot woman. I want to see her looking hot and sophisticated, not trash bag. Yeah, I, I really want to see the, the progression of, like, when she comes to the studio mm-hmm. and they say, okay, here's the dress that we have for you. <laughs> and then she, like, proceeds to say, okay, okay. And then she puts it on and goes, okay. You know, no, say no. What uh, if she doesn't know? Aw. Well, <laughs> she might not know. I don't no, how could you not know? You, you'd have to, wouldn't you? Like, I have a comparison. This is when I look good. Yeah. And let me put this on. Oh. No. <laughs> this is not oh. that. This is not this, that. This something doesn't belong here. <laughs> la, la, la. This dress. Um, Kirsty and Max started out this week. Yes, they were dancing, according to the announcer, the mm-hmm. samba. Why? Why doesn't he know, know how to say it? I don't know. Everybody else knows. And he said it later too, and before it's the samba. Is it the sa- is samba? Yeah, it's the samba. It's a dance made by a guy named Sam. <laughs> but ba. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know why. Everybody else is saying samba. This guy says, says samba. I don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the samba. He's like, I used to dance the samba. Wait, I don't exist. No, uh, Do we it's even... Samba. Isn't it Samba? Hey, Jesse says it's Samba. At least we know where Courtney is, right? We don't even, like now at this point, we don't. We just draw Troy. <laughs> we don't even ask, did he call in? We don't even, where is he at? Because, you know, the first time we were like, he's in a meeting. Right. At like, you know, one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to check his Facebook status at the moment. That's check what we do now. I'll be Yes. What does he say? You know, I, you know what his Facebook status is? I don't exist. I don't exist. I'm, I'm, I am a stick figure on Maria's paper. <laughs> That's what his Facebook status is. I don't exist. He's typing it right now. So the um, guilty pleasure yes. song with this samba. For Hit me, baby, one more time. Love that. Yes. Okay, it was a guilty pleasure. Yeah. I, I loved the song when I it was out. I love the song. Mm-hmm. Little 16-year-old girl They were fighting, too. They were fighting. They were having a level lover's quarrel. I think they stopped going. I think they stopped. No, they're much farther than that. Uh, She's like, I don't care about that stuff. I've done that, that already. Okay. She's just like, uh, young okay. thirty year old. They're, gonna, they're a different stage of the relationship. They are. I think they stopped. I've well, decided. I, I think. Um, yeah. I wish I could call one. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> yeah, I think last week that was my wish is I wish we could really know because I personally think that they have never done it. Mm-hmm. I personally think that they have and now they have stopped. And then somewhere in the middle of last week, they started up again because sometimes in the footage they were like, I don't 
like you. Blah, blah, blah. And then the next thing they were like, ooh, baby. Yeah, yeah. her head's on his lap. And he's uh-huh. like, I'm sorry, baby. I I'm mean, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it. I was just going through a moment. Yeah. And dancing's really important to me. No, but we all know that you think they are. Yes. And that oh, you think th- And you think that I'm wrong for it because you called me like a four-year-old or something. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I remember that, by the way. <laughs> So, He's upset. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nanny, nanny, nanny. <sighs> yeah, huh. yeah. But I don't like his shirt this week. They were chocolate loving this week, but they were not doing the shirt properly. See, he's what I'm talking about is Max is wearing a shirt that is completely unbuttoned all the way down to his belt. Yeah. There is something wrong with that. A girl does it so she can show off her tatas. What is a man showing off? I mean, his, his- chesticles? His, his man taught us. Um, I mean, it's like, uh, you know, dancers do weird stuff like that. I mean, you know. Yeah, they, they, you I know, know, but it's not He's got right. heels on and everything else, so. Yeah, but I do know. love her dress this week. Kirstie's dress was <clears throat> fabulous. And it moved well, and she looked thinner and thinner. It definitely week. showed off the fact that she has lost some weight. But, mm-hmm. you know, to me, she still looks like a big woman, but she doesn't move like one. That's, no. you know, that's what we're really impressed with. Yeah. I, I'm just surprised by it because when she came on the show, she lost 60 pounds. Right. And then she said in an interview that she was down to a size six. But I don't know if that's a real size six or not. <laughs> I don't know yet, girly. You're doing good. but mm, That's a Lane Bryant not. six. That's a Lane Bryant six. Uh, uh, m- maybe. It's a six. Yeah, maybe. You know, I just, uh, but. You do look good, so keep it up. Keep up the good work. Ed, um, you are on fire tonight, huh? I mean... You know, I got. He said a Lane Bryant six. Yeah, see, you know. Uh, know. After Buzz exclusive. I I don't. I'm. I'm, don't. He don't get that. He gets this one. After Buzz. Yeah, I need auto tune actually. (laughs) I have trouble hitting the note, so thank you for that. Um, But okay, so we did really like their. Well, I'm going to say it correctly. They're Samba. Yes. And um, I noticed when I was watching, I, I thought I saw some slight imperfections in her, you know, her performance, her movements and mm-hmm. stuff. But, um, you know, some weeks it seems like we see them sort of give a room for the fact that they're not professional dancers. And then sometimes they're hard on them. And like, I yeah. saw you move your toe to the right one. It's supposed to go to the left. You know, yeah. it's like we don't I don't know what the pattern is, but. They, and they you know. like all flip flop this week. Yeah, yeah. Len was like, I love everybody. And Bruno and Carrie were like, We don't like anybody. <laughs> Get it perfect. Yeah, they t- all switched hats. They yeah. did. It was <laughs> weird. And he was like fighting, like he was fighting against them to give everybody better scores or something. He's like, I don't think that you should think that. And you know, it was just very strange. Yeah, yeah. He told Lynn at one point, told Bruno, yeah. said, No, the only, the only person having an off week is you with that comment. Yeah. And we expected it to be the reverse. Exactly. But, and um, I don't like yeah. that this man shaved. Max should not shave. You you must not like it. It's like the third time you said that. I know. Because like before, it was like, it was nice. And it was like, okay, a little scruff. And lo- now he just well, looks a little. Like you said, mm-hmm. maybe his partner made a request. Exactly. Say, I don't like that. Exactly. That's what happened. And then after he shaved, then Kirsty was like, oh. You again, oh, and, then and then they oh, started. No, no, no. Okay. I'm just getting it correct. Like mm-hmm. so get yes, it right. um, Len said, fulfilled the potential. Great job. Um, yeah, Bruno said, said yeah. hit me, baby, hit me, Christy, one more time. Yeah. Carrie, just like Brittany, you're back. Yeah, they got a 26 overall. 998. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they did pretty well. They deserved it for the most part. There was a couple little like stumblies here and that's there. That's a solid. That's a solid score. Solid yeah. performance. Uh-huh. And she was grabbing her crotch. Why did she do that? I don't know. I mean, she's <laughs> does like, it something itch? is going on there. Does she's it pulling itch? her clothes away from it. Maybe Max right. Max gave her something. Oh. Well. Uh, oh, that's see, the this other is thing. what happened. She got ra- like he um had like a little scruff. Hurt her crotchal area. He had to shave, and now she's still kind of like hurting down there. Some sensitivity. Yeah, that's some that's sensitivity. sad that, that he can shave better than she can. Okay, it is dramatic how she's pulling on that thing. Yes, it is. It's like I miss she's my gemstone down there. I miss it. I need it back. Maybe she got bedazzled. What is it? Vaginal or something? Uh, bedazzled. Bedazzled. <laughs> I, th- I think it might have been a bejazzled. It's bizarre, bejazzled, yes. Maybe she got that. Now it hurts. Um, yeah, well, 
Yeah. At least we didn't have like some jewelry accentuating her area that this time. Yes. So. We had other problems with that this week. But um, on to the next one. Chris and Cheryl, uh, don't stop believing. I think I stopped believing during this dance. Okay, so um, let me see. This one with Chris and Cheryl was very interesting to me because I saw some good footwork. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, and that's what Len said. Mm -hmm. And he said he'd get a good posture. This is the one where they reverse roles. Mm -hmm. And we expected the Len to really give him a hard time. Because he's yeah. the one. Remember, he's the one that's been hard on him. He's the one that didn't get in the mm -hmm. high scores and said you'll get an eight when you get it. What, yeah. what, what, nine when you deserve a nine? Yeah. Last week. Uh, eight. You'll get yeah. an eight when you deserve an eight. Right, right. Something like that. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, Cheryl and. But and his Bruno face was like, like this the whole time. Yeah, that was the ah, ah, like the whole time he looked like he was stressed, man. Yeah. And I know he was trying to be serious, but I've seen him mean before. Yeah, I wrestled in the same show as you. I know you can do it. This yeah. is not the face. Yeah, we think maybe he had like a bad day or something. Yeah, probably a bad day. Yeah. I mean, her dress was beautiful, though. I love Cheryl's dress. It was very fancy and accentuated her body very nicely. Yeah, she looked really good tonight. She looked mm -hmm. really good tonight. And, um, yeah, weird mouth. And then um, great lines, though. On some parts, he had really great lines. I agree. Like, all of a sudden, he'd stop, and it was, like, perfect lines. Yep. But then, yeah, uh, Bruno said cold, lumpy, and stone face. Yeah, cold, <laughs> cold and uneventful, he said. Yeah. Yeah, he even, I think he even mimicked his face. Yes, So he that's did. like. Yeah. He's like. Mm. Apparently, that really bothered him. Yes. And then Carrie <clears throat> said pressure. Oh, the pressure must have got to you. Mm-hmm. And I think it probably did. But maybe mm -hmm. it wasn't the pressure of the dance. Maybe it wasn't the pressure of the dance. See? Yeah. We think that he was preoccupied. Yeah. Um, and then Len was all about him. Good posture. Footwork was good. Well done. Like, yeah. it gave him an eight. The other two gave him sevens, which ended up being 22. Yeah. So, come on. Let's bring it out. Let's do something better next week. Um, Romeo and Chelsea, my heart will go on. Oh, fabulous. Very well done. Yeah. We were very impressed uh -huh. with this waltz. We were. The young people mm -hmm. did this old dance, mm -hmm. and they did it well. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only time his face got weird, because most of the times it was a relaxed face, but every yes. once in a while he would be like... Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, when he licked his lips, right? I don't know if that's just a weird tick, but just don't do that, because <laughs> lines were great, arms were good. He's got it down when it comes to arms. No, but as we learned from Heinz Ward, uh, during the <laughs> dancing, we keep our tongue inside our mouth. <laughs> it's just a rule now. Yes, you keep your tongue in your mouth, and when you dance, you do not have crazy hands and arms, which oh, yeah. he's very good at it. I really like Romeo's arms. Yep. yep. They're, they're very nice arms. They don't have crazy hands attached to the end. Yeah, and then at the end of the dance, when... Oh, creepy hands. And <laughs> creepy hands. We don't like your hands. Creepy. Oh, the end. Yes. When he went from being like romantic, romantic to... Yeah, girl, I got you. I got yeah, you. Yeah, girl, I got you. He really was acting like he was the man, and I'm going ahead and, and I'm gonna put one on you right now. Uh huh. He was like, I'm your pimp. And gave her a real kiss. Yeah. Not no fake one, just, you know, real kiss right on the mouth. See, another thing I wish we could know if they actually, that was like at all intentional. And, you know, I mean, yeah. planned, at all planned. Or did he just do that? Well, he was all into her <laughs> the first week, but I haven't seen that since then. So I don't know if it, like, Ooh. yeah. And two-handed, like, mm, kiss me. You know what? It is because they were doing the Titanic. It's, it was planned. Mm -hmm. It's just that he put a little something extra in uh -huh. it. I didn't like this dress, though. <laughs> no, we don't like this dress. <laughs> no, we would. What's the point? <laughs> this dress is weird. It's got, like, this weird corset thing. It isn't even a corset. It's like a, a big set. <laughs> like, it makes you bigger, <laughs> not smaller. <laughs> like, you're supposed to go... <laughs> Instead, well, it's like, Whoa. like you said in 1492, whenever yes. that dress comes <laughs> from, dress. bigger was better then. Yes, that meant you had money. Even like the top was like ill-fitting and the boobages. It looked made her look saggy, but she's not saggy. So I don't know what's going on. Bad uh -oh, dress. Uh oh, I'm about to impress Jesse Janet again. It was huh? a poor attempt at an empire waist. You like that? A very poor. Auto tune for for good old Ed. <laughs> Courtney should have called in for this because she'd been like, oh, oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> she 
<laughs> Carrie said, that was magical. And she went on this whole big thing about how every once in a while during a season, something yeah. happens that's magical. Yep. And that was this time. Yes. And that was this time. Uh, and we thought it was special. Yeah. We thought it was. Until later we'll talk later. about it. Later. <laughs> and then, Len, um, for a young man, you dance with something. What did I write? Holy cow. How do you oh, read that? Uh, he said uh, dance with maturity. Maturity. Yeah. And uh, But he, he criticized him and said he, his uh, frame strength yeah. was off. Because he doesn't always keep a box. Every once in a while, yeah. he gets a little wonky with the shoulder. Okay. Yeah. Because I actually didn't know what that meant, so good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you explained So uh, he's not, he? Yeah. He's little. With the shoulder Well, that's because he wants to be... Now, you guys can't see me at home. <laughs> They're at home going, what is she talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about his shoulder, how sometimes it pushes back a little bit. Yeah, well, yeah. no, they can, you know, some people can see. Some people you can streamers. see. Yeah. You streamers. You streamers. You stream. Hello. How are you guys? Fabulous. I can see. Um, and then <clears throat> Len said that, and then Bruno said Romeo DiCaprio. Fabulous. Yeah. That was very we, original. We, yeah. <laughs> but we, you know, overall, we liked it. Um, yeah. The, uh, uh, what's her name, Carrie? Um, yes. Duh. Uh, she said something that was uh, important, I think, and she said that they were emotionally connected mm -hmm. to the dance. Yes. And so, and, and then Bruno, what I liked what he said was uh, that he could see the love story unfold. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's what I felt. I felt like they their dancing was so sort of solid mm -hmm. that we weren't distracted by you know, the, the, any mistakes and stuff. Yeah. Creepy, creepy hands, yeah. triangles. We, right. We weren't distracted. We were actually able to enjoy this dance as if they were sort mm -hmm. of professional dancers. Yeah. And uh, so that's what was good for me. And it's been nice the last two weeks with this couple. Yes. Because this week and last week have been that way. Man, last week was good. Yeah. I think this week's was better than last week, so I, I really do think that. Um, next up, we have Chelsea and Mark. No, Quick before step. you guys get to that, we have oh. a caller on the line. Hello, caller, caller on the line. Caller, you there? And the caller got scared. All right. You know, why does this happen? I don't feel like I'm scary. I mean, are you scary? <laughs> oh, it was the it was the voice. It's a voice. They were like, they were like, I don't. She might come out and <laughs> hurt me. I'm gonna come through the microphone. Yeah, I think people might think you know you're tough, but rightfully so. Yeah. You know, you're yeah. tough. But do they have this problem on the other show with tough enough girls? No, they they don't. Yeah. I, Boo. Maybe, maybe they saw you in your new play. Boo. And plus, you know, people should have phone courage. You yes. actually can't reach through the phone and get them. I can't get through and get them. And why did they call and hang up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost there. <laughs> Not quite. No matter, I can't do it. It was like a pre-phone ejaculation or something. <laughs> <laughs> wow, where are your hands? Okay, good. Alrighty. Mm. I want to see. I want to see those. those <laughs> Just right here. Ten little piggies there. Okay. I don't exist. Um. Okay. So call back, please. Thanks. If you can. Wonderful. I'm walking on sunshine in the next dance. Um, Chelsea and Mark, uh, yeah, they they were saying that uh, Mark was saying Chelsea needs to be more competitive. Wasn't competitive enough in the pre-package. So they were, like, running around, and then she got sprayed with water. And, you know, it was... Uh, you are bad. <laughs> she said that she has never been in a competitive sport in her entire life. And that Isn't Disney competitive? Sorry, I didn't mean to. No, that's okay. You're, you're you know... Um, well, I don't know. They are on the. They literally have to work seven days a week, twenty four yeah. hours a day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the children after they leave Disney, they end up being like fifty five years old. They're like, <laughs> "Mic, gay." Like it's horrible. They really do. They work well, there, too much. There's, you know, she obviously doesn't have any sort of killer instinct because yeah. uh, he he asked her a simple yes or no question. Do you want to be the best? She's like. Well, I he's all no, yes or no. Do you want to be the best? Mm -hmm. And so I guess that's what he was trying to do to get her psyched up and stuff. And yeah, you know, he was just doing it his way, and that's obviously not her way. I mean, yeah, she, she obviously can do really good things mm -hmm. in life. Yeah, and you know, he probably was just uh, like I said, trying to motivate her in the way he motivates himself, and it didn't work. Yeah, but <clears throat> I think she has to be competitive. I think she just doesn't like to give straightforward answers. It's like she oh. went through the training of like, oh, if you need to answer a question, that might be a little bit 
um, controversial, oh. make sure you answer it this way. And that's what I feel like she was doing. Okay, so you're giving a little sort yeah. of uh, insight into what it might be like to be trained to be a Disney person. Right. Oh. That's what I think it is. I don't okay. think it's like, I, I don't think she's not competitive. She had to have been to even start there. But like, so just answer straightforward. <laughs> don't be like, oh, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Yes, I want to be the best. I want to kick all their asses, and I don't care who knows. I want to be the last woman standing. Yes. ABC Disney, thank you for helping thank me. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, I mean, they did really well. And what was with Mark's ring? Did they get married already? Okay, yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in the prepackage, yours truly noticed that there was a ring on the left ring finger of Mark. Yeah. So, you know, that usually means something, usually. Yeah. But, it, I, you know, I couldn't tell what kind of ring it was, and, and we didn't pause it this particular case. Mm-hmm. We paused other things. Yes. But um, in this case, we didn't. And uh, I don't know if the ring is there right now. I didn't even look anymore. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, that was curious. But I'm sure know. that that'll be controversy. Yeah, I mean. Like, other people had to have noticed it. We don't think that the, Oh, that him, did he just slip there? That was the, the, yeah, that was the one where he hurt himself. Oh, this was the angle. Ow, oh, ma'am. he hurt himself during yes. rehearsal. And so there was a big to-do if he was going to be able to even dance or not. But yeah. he's like, I will power through. Dancers are tough. Yeah, yeah. Dancers are tough. And I'm sure you know that because you've done some training and stuff. Have, like, you have, have to be super tough. Yes. You have to, yeah, and you know what? I mean, flexibility is important. Flexibility will keep you from getting injured Mm -hmm. as as badly. So I'm guessing that, you know, he is tough. He is a a dancer. And so that little, you know, thing may have hurt someone who is not a tough Mm -hmm. dancer. And, you know, he was able to recover from it. And he's not even limping or anything. Nobody knew. We didn't even know what was wrong with him during the dance. They didn't tell us until after. Yeah. So that was pretty good. Yeah, it, it was amazing. And I've known dancers before that have sprained ankles, had broken bones, like not major broken bones, but have danced yes. on those things. Yes. And it's it's crazy, like broken toes, like oh. point dancers. Oh, yeah. man. And they, they'll they dance in recitals. They'll, they'll do all of it. It's it's insane. Absolutely yes. insane. But good and good for you, you know, being able to go out there and be be there for your partner. Yeah, good job, Mark. Um. The yellow dress was great when they were moving, and you were talking about the length of it. Yes. Um, what I didn't like about the previous Quick Step performances mm-hmm. we've seen is uh, there was a couple of them. I think uh, Wendy Williams's Quick Step, mm-hmm. as well as Kirstie Alley's, they wore pretty much ankle length dresses. Mm-hmm. And I felt like it totally distracted from what we were supposed to see, which mm-hmm. we saw in this, which was really good footwork. Yeah. Um, there was a couple of things I saw, like in the middle, I thought there was something sloppy about mm-hmm. their whole thing. And uh, and I wrote down weird angles, and mm-hmm. I forget who. And I wrote down weird hip. Okay. Like her hips look weird. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. And it, it created like some weird angle. But, <clears throat> I mean, the guy, you know, sprained his ankle before the thing, still yeah. performed that well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, when we go to the, what the judges said, yeah. This is where Carrie Ann said, yeah. oh, magic again. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, no. I know, because yeah. Romeo was, was so much better. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Romeo, I didn't get distracted by his angles. I didn't get distracted by, yeah. oh, what's, was that a little slow or fast? Or, you know? Yeah. But during this dance, I did. Yes. I thought they were a little off with the music sometimes. Yes. Yep, that's exactly what I think, too. And then Len said high energy and control was there and Bruno was said very difficult. Yeah. And did you think it was difficult? Well, he said that they successfully uh, made did a quick dance, but mm-hmm. they did it with and, and they held their form. Mm-hmm. And uh, he said there was one situ- one point where she lost balance. Oh, no. Was that Carrie Ann said that? It was, oh, no, it was oh, Bruno. No, Bruno, Bruno said, said that, it. That they lost balance, uh, uh-huh. that she lost balance over there in the corner. Yeah. And then the other judges were like disagreeing with him yeah. on that one. So, yeah, another ro- role reversal with the judges there. Yeah, it was very strange <clears throat> this week. Um, nine, nine, and a 10. Yeah. A 10, really? It's Isn't not a it 10. too early to be giving out 10s? Well, I mean, we kind of like the Romeo 10, but this yeah. one's just not right. Not for these guys. I mean, I like the Harry Potter dance better. Yeah. I really did. So I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, they ended up with a 28, and so they're pretty up there um, on the leaderboard. I think they're – are they the – they're tied? I think they're tied with – I'll look at it in a minute. Anyways, so um, next up was Kendra and Louie. Yep. Again, uh, now, um, when Louie was talking, telling Kendra, he said, this is your dance. We're mm-hmm. going to dance the samba. 
Mm-hmm. And silly announcer made him dance the samba again. But, <laughs> um, but this was very interesting. Uh, there was a lot of shaking going on. Living La Vida, shaky, 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 yeah, there shaky. There was some shaking going on. I thought she was going to lose that I dress. I did think something was going to come out. Yeah. I did. But she is tight. Yep. Uh, barely any jiggling going on. Yeah, only good jiggling. Yeah, there's only good jiggling going on. Uh huh. And she so. loves to jiggle. Every yeah. time she starts jiggling, she had a smile on her face. She's like, "I'm shaking my boobies. I'm shaking them. I'm shaking them." Yep, that's what she wants to do. She was like, "Do I get to do that this time?" And yeah. he's like, "Yep, yeah, to do it. Shake your boobies. Shake your boot booty. Yeah. Booty boobies. Mm hmm. Shake it all. Um. And I think the yellow dress helped her in this. The uh, all the, the fringe and everything. It just emphasized everything yeah, good know, that was going on up here. Yeah, I was gonna say if if she doesn't have a lot of stuff jiggling, she probably needed that little sort of a help there. Mm hmm. Yeah. And it showed off her legs. Yeah. Her legs are so good, and her feet are so great when she dances. Yeah. That I don't want to see what's going on up here. Let me <laughs> just give me all legs, and yeah. we'll just go on with it. Yeah, no, she was her legs were looking good. It was good. Mm-hmm. And her face looked a little better this week, I think. Yeah, I think so too. She uh, probably, I, I felt that she was nervous in the beginning, but you were feeling like she's not as nervous as she's been not in the as past. Nervous. I probably have to agree with that. She probably wasn't as nervous as she was in the past, mm-hmm. but I still felt like she was feeling the pressure and it came through on her face. Mm-hmm. Um, it, you know, because you know she's excited to do sort of these dance moves that she likes to do. Mm-hmm. But I think she remembers that she's still doing you know a formal dance. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like just totally let loose mm-hmm. and drop it like it's hot shaking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh-huh. I mean, they, they let her get on the table and shake it. And put, oh yeah. You know, uh, and is it Len's birthday or was it Len's birthday or something? I don't know. Or was he, that a joke? I don't know if it was his birthday, but he did say that he got his guilty pleasure uh-huh. when she got up there. <laughs> Fulfilled my guilty pleasure. Yeah. Oh, and then Bruno in the Elton John video. Oh, uh, my God. I, 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 <laughs> Jesse, did you see that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's on the phone chit chatting. This dude just waved us off and said, "Oh no no no, hold, uh, oh, hold no. please, hold please." Uh, yeah, hold, uh, hold on. First of know. all, I don't even have my headphone on, so I can't hear you. Okay, I can see you, but you're not important. And secondly, can you see Ed, me on the phone? You're very important to me. Okay. Can you see me Ed, on the phone? Ed, <laughs> you're very important. Well, did you put some? That. Did you put somebody on hold to at least talk to me? Yes, I did. Okay, you're good. that Aww. important. I see. Now, okay, now I feel a little better now. Yeah, thank you. you know, uh, please you apologize to all the Americans that you just talked about about me. Well, what do we? Wait, wait, what am I apologizing to? I don't know. Just continue. <laughs> <laughs> But that Elton John, wow, and the little speedo and mankini and the leather and the and the thrusting mm-hmm. and <laughs> what about the when they popped up and they yes! were like and there was a girl. I mean, come on, dude. Oh. In the banana hammock. Oh. I mean, man. And why didn't they criticize his dance moves? Because they didn't look all oh, that clean. Oh no, it's bad. I, I thought there was I some, like something that. lacking. I didn't even know what he said because I was just so like. Yeah. What is that? I'm watching. Um, <laughs> Carrie said, I saw saw lots of info. Yes. <laughs> um, they got a 25, which, if I'm correct, I think is the highest score that they've got. I, I want to say that, too. I want to say yes. I think that's probably the highest they ever got. Yes. I, I would know, but, you know, notes are missing in action. Oh, Fabulous. And, and I, uh, I noticed what I likened his... Uh, which is which is a vest, too, was, you know, and we're so close to Easter mm-hmm. that it looked like one of those yellow marshmallow chicks. Mm-hmm. His yes. little yellow vest. So it I looked like a Chiquita banana. It was Easter appropriate. Yes. It was, it was something. A uh, Chiquita banana with, to go along with the hammock of Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> and banana hammock. So I guess what we wouldn't talk about here, so I guess if I mention it, it'll be a teaser. We what? won't talk about whether Hank is actually cheating with this other person. No, we should talk about it now. We should talk about it now? Yeah. Okay, so um, what I saw, uh, I think it's on the stands now, In Touch Magazine Mm -hmm. has... uh, After Buzz TV exclusive. Let me see. I think I even have it. on. Hold on, I gotta... Don't look. Anybody, I'm typing okay. in my secret okay. code, Maria. Mm-hmm. I'm not looking. You looked. I totally did. Of course I did. Don't anyway. look. What do you think is going to happen? I'm just not going to look? What? Well. Don't look at this. Oh, gosh. And the hair. She what like is her the... hair? Dude, it's bad hair, man. Is it like she wants to be Shakira, but it just didn't Shakira work out? Shakira and like 
The other girl <clears throat> that has bad hair, she was on this week too with the grown out extensions all the way down to here. Like, yeah, but that is. Oh man. Yeah, right there. I really thought something was coming out. That's um, like 2001 Beyonce hair. 2000. Yeah, but she's. That's not a positive thing. No, this is <laughs> bad hair, man. And apparently, uh, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna talk about her love life here in a minute. Well, uh, In Touch Magazine, In Touch Weekly, um, who is, according to Free Hot News Today, uh, dot info, is attempting to break apart Hank and Kendra with all the articles they keep writing. But it just the cover seems to indicate that Hank has been involved with uh, playmate Jessica Hall making out in a Vegas club and that Kendra is humiliated and left him. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, they're clever with their words. They don't say it directly. They just mm-hmm. say these different bits and pieces and it makes you think. But, uh, you know, they don't. They apparently don't have pictures of the actual offense that they're accusing him of. Uh-huh. But they do have pictures of the girl Jessica Hall and the family and stuff. It's just, if they are, if it's not true, I think it's just really sad that they can and do report such a thing. It's like, why? Yeah. It, it really, it just, why? Like, what is the point? There's so many good stories you could say out there. There's yeah. so many, there, there's train wrecks you can talk about that are real. Like, yeah. you don't need to <laughs> make up some yeah, random train wreck to, oh, what, there hasn't been an octomom in a while, so now we got to talk about this person. Exactly. You know, it's hard. I mean, I guess all. one thing they're doing, I mean, we're talking about it, so I guess they have, a, you know, that's part of the reason. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, we don't like, to, if it's not true, we don't like to see that. No, we we don't like to see that at all. Plus, like, her husband every week is there watching her, and it's like... Yeah, and he looks really happy and supportive. Happy and supportive in there. This, yeah. And, and you know what probably ended up happening is it's one of Kendra's girlfriends mm-hmm. that she couldn't go out for whatever reason, and uh-huh. they were already all going out as a group, and they ended up all going out together, and everybody is like, oh, they made out. They did this. They were dancing too close. You see that? I mean, you know, I goof around with guy friends all the time, yeah, but yeah, not, yeah. like, make out. But yeah, like, yeah, that's a big difference. Could be construed as, like, I'm flirtatious, but they're guys friends like right just leave people's love lives alone leave it alone please thank you Poor i fellow. appreciate it um heinz and kim viennese waltz well the viennese waltz by heinz and kim mm-hmm. i mean you liked it you I, loved every moment of it i didn't love every moment oh all right i thought it was smooth in the middle there was a point at which i thought okay now it's good mm-hmm and before that it was bad, mm-hmm. and then after that it was bad, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, it was it was just kind of whatever. Yeah, you were mesmerized by Kim. Oh like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you yeah. got the biggest smile on your face we, ever. We enjoy watching Kim do any yes. damn thing. She's just oh, except talk. I don't like her accent. <laughs> yeah, you you can be quiet. Be quiet yeah. <laughs> Just write me notes. Do you want to make love? <laughs> no, you have to draw this sound. <laughs> uh, how do you spell? E-e-e. I don't know. Just, you just say it. You don't even know. You, you, you know. You, yeah, you I don't. I don't. I don't even know what to say about you. This dress was fabulous. The pink beautyness of it. I didn't even notice it was pink. <laughs> I don't think I actually look at the dress Come. so much. No, just the figure inside the, the dress. The parts that are not dress related is what I'm I'm saying. sorry, but I really think that Heinz got lucky. Well, he did because he's got Kim because, I mean, look at him. He looks like what, it's not good. What was that awkward kiss yeah. thing that they, well, like, or now, like the yeah. face? He slants his head. He points like this. And he, he makes triangles on his he crotch. Makes triangles. <laughs> they must have told he him because a weird now his tongue panting thing. Yeah. See, this is why. See, see, now you're understanding. <laughs> Thank you. And Heinz work. <laughs> There's the girls. I like the girls. <laughs> Go Steelers. He's like, he's like, hey, give me a nine. <laughs> give me a nine. <laughs> Give triangle. Me, give, me, give me a nine. Triangle. What is oh, oh, this yeah. weird, awkward kiss? I'm telling you, his head is like this. This right? is what I'm saying. Now watch, watch when I play. But they did not even pick sides. 
they just were like, we're oh, both. Oh, man, I was wrong. He, did, he lived there. Yeah. He did leave See, it right both <laughs> to the wrong side. We're both going to go right with our head. Or I'm going to go right and you're going to go left. And then we're going to knock noses in the middle and be like this. Smash. Eskimo. So sexy. Not really. <sighs> oh, he gets so lucky every single week because every week she makes him look so good. But and he dances with a pillow most of the week. Did you teach him that? I don't know him. <clears throat> Yeah, and, but you dance. And so do you yes, pillow dance no as well? No pillow dancing. No pillow dancing. Are anything. you like this? La, you know, la, la. You know what? I, I even... like how fluffy you are. I dance like this with my pillow. I don't even own a pillow. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but the, the thing is, we watch it, right? And we Don't see that it. Kim mm-hmm. is the distraction. She's a wonderful dancer. She's mm-hmm. beautiful, sexy, all that stuff. And then we see him, and we don't like him. We think he's weird dancer man. Okay? <laughs> you heard it here. Hines Ward is weird dancer man. Yes, and we're like, dude, you're the only thing you got going for you is that we're not looking at you. And so then... The judges proceed to say, Heinz, you are so good. You're so wonderful. Every time you're just from the beginning to the I'm like, dude, said he's second to none. Uh, uh, flawless performance, the chemistry with Kim. No, You're becoming the most valuable partner, the MVP. Yes. Except you're flat footed. Except you're. But I'm sorry I'm saying that. Just use your feet a little bit more. What? Yeah. Come on, get hard on him. Carrie Ann did say that he was thinking too much or whatever. Mm-hmm. But overall, they just like build him up to be this great dancer. I'm like, no, dude. They called him Twinkle Toes one week, didn't they? Was it him or was it Sugar? I, don't I think know. it was Sugar, and then he Maybe got eliminated the next week. Yeah, nine, 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 twenty-seven. Yeah. Almost at the top. Ugh. Weird. Weird. Yeah. I don't Kim, understand. Kim got all those points by herself. I th- I, she got all of her points last week, too. Yeah. And then, wait a minute. Is he part of ABC? <laughs> He's in football. I don't know. A- is he in ABC football? <laughs> Does the B in ABC stand for ball? <laughs> <laughs> I, there, you know what? This is the exact uh, what a conspiracy would look like. I know. He's bad, and then they say he's good. Yes. And okay. they put him with the distraction. And so they're like, but she's beautiful, and, and they have so much chemistry. Yeah, because she's making them have chem- chemistry. Maybe, maybe the B is for beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> and the C is for conspiracy. Conspiracy. A, B, C. <laughs> A beautiful Wait, conspiracy. The, yeah. Sounds like a new TV show. <laughs> Okay, I don't think callers would even know what to say if they called in, and I think that's why they... By the way, by the way... I don't exist. By the way, if we were having a kissing sound contest, she totally kicked my ass just now. Like, much better. That was great. Um, It's the WDM. That's Heinz's new name. It's the WDM. Oh, the weird dancer man. He's the WDM. I play football. I play football. Uh, um, anyways, I have news and gossip about him later. But um, okay. I've oh, heard... we have another dancer. Yes, we have one more. Um, we have a very interesting <laughs> dance next. Yeah, Ralph and Karina, man. Ralph and Karina. The Paso Doble. Paso Doble. Dude, but he, like, his spins were amazing. Uh, amazing. Sinead turns. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. And his posture is so good. <laughs> it's like the posture fairy came over and was like, sprinkled posture here and posture here and posture here and eh. <laughs> posture here, <laughs> posture there, and then just completely forgot about his hands. Well, but the I rest th- of them is fabulous. I'm thinking that the fairy looked at the hands and was like, oh my God, I can't do that with those. <laughs> You gotta figure that out yourself. Dude. Those hands are only good for wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off, which which he did. He did in his dance. I uh, thought that was. You know so what? We cute. liked that. We liked it. We were watching. Okay. Yes. It was so serious. It was so genuine, so good mm-hmm. that when we saw it coming in the prepackage, mm-hmm. we're like, "Oh my god, he's gonna wax on, wax off right now." Yeah. And we were like, "Here it comes. He's gonna yeah. do it." And then we watched it, and it was great. 
and it was great. And it didn't like stand out like a sore thumb, like when Sugar did his boxing dance, and the whole thing was like, yeah. everybody wants boxing, boxing. Yeah. Like, really? And then he had a thing come from the ceiling, the heavy bag, and punched it. Yeah, no, man. this was just wax on, wax off. Yeah, it was quick and it looked mm-hmm. bright and good. And, uh, and we, we liked it. Now, we did have Karina. <sighs> I think it kind of, um, Karina fall, mm, fell in the dance, and when she fell, she honestly was kind of knocked for a loop. Yeah. She didn't know what was going on. I saw her face. She was like, <gasps> and then finally she's like, okay, we'll start from here. Yeah. And he had pulled her up Yeah. and, like, got her back in position, asked yeah. her if she was okay in the middle of a dance. In the middle of the dance, right. The recovery was so good, by the way, yeah. that when we were watching, Maria said, oh, my gosh, she just fell. And I must have, like, looked down for a second to write a note. Mm-hmm. I didn't see the fall. Mm-hmm. And the recovery was so fast. I saw, I remember seeing um, Ralph reach down and get her. But from, you know, when I my eyes came on the screen, it looked like that was just part of the dance. Mm-hmm. So, but, you know, when we replayed it and they replayed it for us, we saw yeah. that she actually tripped on his cape. Yes, uh, his, his soldier outfit. Dun, 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 dun. He looked like he was from like the Nutcracker. Was he was coming the Nutcracker. Out. What was the song that they danced to? I can't even remember. Um, she was dressed like a Jetson. You said. Yeah, she had uh, daughter Judy. Jane, Jane, his wife. So we had Jane Jetson. Uh, Jane Jetson with the Nutcracker. Jane Jetson with the Nutcracker. Yeah, I wow. forgot the song though. <laughs> It's like something. Um, it was a Jane is his wife. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that was Jetsons. Me. Jetsons. That was me singing. In the <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just reiterated it. Wait, the cho- is it chopsticks? Do 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 do. Well, well, we're actually, talking about the Jetsons. Yeah, but that's how the Jetsons theme song goes. Oh. Um, okay. Well, I mean, he's he, so know, much smarter than us. Yeah, he made a good point. Yeah, dun, 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 of course, he could say dun, anything. Dun, we don't dun, know. Dun, 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 dun. <coughs> oh, and he stag leap did it too. All of a sudden, it was stag leap, and it was a fabulous stag leap. Stuck the stag leap. Yeah. Held the pose uh-huh. in the air. Wow. Yeah, and did not look all floppy, and didn't fall on his own dress. And then, oh, it's a cape. It's a cape. No, cape. It's Karina's dress. I see it. There it is. (laughs) With the blue hippie thing. Yes. I'm sorry. I liked it. All except for the crotch fringe. There was... Is that fringe? Is that what you call that? I just spit. Sorry. You didn't have to say it. Nobody else saw it. I didn't even see it. And I'm right here. That's why we I love Maria. I don't exist. <laughs> oh my God! Hold on. She spit on Troy. <laughs> Wait, is there a wet spot? <laughs> I don't even. I don't. Is there a rating? And somebody, somebody, and 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 during this, all of a sudden, I realized he is 49 years old, and he's doing yes. all this stuff. Oh my God! I remember the hula hoop part. I didn't see that. Yeah, part. that's interesting. Very. Um. Yeah. He's he's an old dude. Yeah, doing all this stuff. And he kind of hasn't really done anything in Hollywood other than guest starring roles here and there. But in this particular dance, he did not show any of his age. Mm -mm. His movement and the way he was jumping around. Yeah. Wow. Maybe those hands help. Maybe they're like, they're like, uh, they're like wings. Like they catch air. They catch air and they're like, like swimmers do. And he's like swimming through. And that's why you he know? has to keep his hands that way because sometimes it's a slow dance, so he has to creepy hands, right, creepy hands. Right, but, but other times he has to create turbulence. Yes, turbulence. Right. Yeah. I, you know what? If anybody could do it, he could. I think he could. He is the karate kid. He is. And, and Karina cool. was about to cry when she was giving him this move. Yeah. The wax on, wax off, Karina was literally about what do you to cry. Call, oh, yeah. We think she was all starstruck. That's what it was. Yeah. Starstruck. Look at, look at, look at. She's biting her lip and everything. Know. Look at her face. She looks like she's going to cry. Um, yeah, this was amazing for me. I was very excited. I did not appreciate the scores at all. Yeah. 24, and I think they only got a 24. Because she fell. Because she fell. I yeah. think they would have gotten a 27. I or, do, too. Tw- yes. Yes, 27. Yes, three times nine. Oh, or wait, yeah. we should ask Jesse because he's smarter Jesse. than us. What is three times nine? Three nines. Three times nine. Is... 
he's getting his calculator oh, out. Well. Never mind. He's not smarter than us. Because we were just pretending, dude. You, you know what? <laughs> 27. Request withdrawal. I played a ditz when I was on WWE, but I knew that answer. Did you really? I did. I was a complete, like, just, so what's going on? And I, <laughs> it was so fun, though. It was, like, it got me through so much stuff. Sometimes I play dumb now just because, like. It'll get you through. Yeah, it'll get you through. I'm like, I okay, well, we're not going to expect much from her. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah, Bruno said he feels the fire. Yeah. Carrie, I have no idea what she said. Do you know I what didn't she know said? what she said. But I, whoa. Yeah. Didn't remember that. Yeah, it's so good. Okay, there was a move there. It was really interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, his creepy hands are still there, but, and he definitely was doing the whole bullfighter poses. Yeah. Which we know that the Paso Roble is supposed to have that now. But, he did seem a little too angry. That's my only, and I don't even know if that's criticism, but he, his anger on his face was so extreme that I thought it was like, I thought he was joking mm-hmm. when I first saw it. But that right there, yeah. The spotting mm-hmm. with the spins. Yeah, being able it. to do it, it's just, I mean, you either have it or you don't when it comes to spotting. I was never very good at spotting when I danced, mm-hmm. so I always had trouble with turns. Yes. But he's like a natural. Yeah. Come teach me how to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, Len said... Uh, you pulled Karina up after you fell. You got right on with it. You didn't act like it was a problem. You just kept on moving. Yes. And I think that was and good for you. 24, and I don't agree with your scores, but that's whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it was sad. It was sad. We felt bad for Karina because she's, you know, she was being hard on herself. But she, mm-hmm. you know, but uh, it was good. Yeah, I hope they stay. I mean, we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, like, I just don't want it to affect anything. You know, I yeah. just, I think they were so good. And, um, yeah, I just, it just I mean, is okay, upsetting now, when now that hold kind on, of stuff hold happens. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And I, just one more thing about this. Because mm-hmm. my, com- my, my feeling was when I saw them sort of cuddling and mm-hmm. he put both of his hands on her cheeks and brought her in and kissed her on the forehead mm-hmm. and looking in her eyes, I was just curious as to, you know, how would that feel to be the wife sitting in the audience and then that sort of display of affection is going on there? It just seems uh, weird. You know, I I have this theory about things. When you get to a certain point in a marriage and you've been married for more than like 10 years, yeah, yeah, yeah. you should be able to be like, hey, did you see that hot chick? <laughs> and be able to go with it. Because at a certain point, it gets a little boring if you're just like, Oh my gosh, we just have to be girlfriend and boyfriend still. Even though we're married and we've been married for a long time, we you know, you have to become friends at a certain point. Yeah. No, true. True. You have to become realistic about Exactly. Things. And they have been married for 20 some years. Exactly. And good for you. I yes, mean, we're like happy about that. Very happy about that. But I don't think it's anything vulgar like it is with Kirsty and Max where it's like his hands down our pants yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> Neither one of them is married, are they? No, I don't okay. think so. Even Good. if they were, not, a- <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Max just loves butts in general. He's Does got he? like smacking everybody's rear end and like. Oh, hey. did you see him give the thr- the pelvic thrust to her bum at the, at the very at the end? end? And she like flies off the stage. Fly, yeah. He he knows how to work it. We noticed that the other week when he was like. Ah. Whew. <laughs> I I enjoyed this show. It was kind yes. of a guilty pleasure for me. There was great music. There was yeah. a lot of fun. Only one mishap, but I think every single week we're going to have some kind of fall trip shoe something. Yeah, do we well, you know what? I don't know what the statistics on that would be from previous shows, but I mm-hmm. you know, it'd be interesting to see how many mishaps uh, cuz this to me it seems like there's a lot. Like Kirsty had two. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, uh, Karina fell mm-hmm. seems like a lot to me does seem like a lot i mean you know you can have other flubs but falls and shoes falling off mm-hmm. i mean we had uh, one of the professional dancers say my leg gave out Dude, your leg that's what that's it you're a dancer your yeah legs. <laughs> you your know? leg gave out your this happened i mean your, and, and, i forgot yeah your... and the dancing shoe comes off mm-hmm. i mean <laughs> No, you're dancing. And it's a dancing shoe it's a dancing. with what? a T on the top. It's yeah. not the ones that, you know, you go to the club in. This is like yeah. the one with the T and it's supposed to keep everything. I don't know. I don't know. It happens. Well, let's get some uh, news and gossip. 
first we're going to go to a commercial. Oh, break. sorry. We'll go to a commercial. Want to find out what the after buzz is about? Janice is a drama queen. This yeah. is the divide that is going to carry the series. Give us a call. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. This television and they want it to be as dramatic as possible. I mean, it's and Shakespearean. I, it, you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Find out why After Buzz TV is the number one source for after show content. Now, in the eyes of Jimmy, Nucky is a villain. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. Now, the Divide. I mean, who would you guys rather hear that from? Your husband or your best friend? <laughs> the wig! The wig will come out. That wig. When the TV show is over, get your after buzz on. Hey, commercials. Yay, that was fabulous. You know what? One more time. So if you haven't picked up Maria's book... Wait a minute. I think you need to stretch. Oh, okay. you you got to stretch to read it, actually. We're we're stretching. It's just like this. I love that. This. That is so funny. (laughs) She's holding the book and stretch. I think that's her comedy. Just stretching. (laughs) Yeah, it talks about everything. It talks about losing a few pounds if you need to. It talks about gym makeup and if you should or... Yeah, I should actually read that because I never know if you should. Oh, when you're working out? When you're working out, because I don't. Oh. I used to when there used to be sometimes fans happened? at the gym. I just wore makeup. But, but what happens if you sweat? Exactly. But see, I used to think like, okay, there's there's fans, WWE fans there. I don't want to be like in there and all of a sudden they see me and they're like, ah! <laughs> I'm not your fan anymore. I'm not your fan. Ooh. You just fell off, girl. Uh huh. That's bad. So, but it talks about all of that stuff. And, you know, I'd like to know because she's a hottie. Yeah. A super hottie. She's a super hottie who is now a New York Times best-selling author. Yes. Superstar. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Right there. Amazing. She was at three the last time I checked. Is she at one yet? Well, we won't know that till the end of the week. Uh. I mean, Tell me now. That says so much. It does. Such a sweet, wonderful Greek woman. I love the Greeks. Greeks. Oh, because I am one. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, no. Sorry. Okay. Now we can go to... After Buzz TV News. So, when asked about his high score last week, Heinz Ward said, It was my first slow dance of the season, and all my dances have been very upbeat. I just went out there and sold it. I got the posture down, and we all got three nines. Heinz Ward is calling his fan base the Heinz and Kim Nation. Little stretch. (sighs) (sighs) I got the posture down. I'm sorry. Last week, you got the dress right. Well, Well, wait a minute. Three nines, that's what they got. Did they get three nines last week? No. Was he talking about the Beanie's Walls? Either way, no, dude. No. Yeah. No. And, yeah. And I just think the car wash dress last week, the beautiful pink number this week, you're winning on the behalf of all the dressing people in the world that are like, ooh, look at that pretty dress. Yes. And that's it. Yeah. You're not winning because you're fabulous. You're not any more fabulous than anybody else. Romeo is better. Yeah. Sorry. I, I just, and now they're like the, what is it, the Heinz and Kim Nation or some crap? Really? You're calling your fan base that now? <laughs> it was all because he used to, used to call the Steeler Nation or something. Oh, you know? Now right. he's including Kim. It's pretty funny. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Pretty funny for a guy who does I, It's not good. Anyway. Well, Pia Toscano and Mark Bells have put the dating rumors to rest. Pia was introduced to Mark's mom and friends on a night out in Beverly Hills over the weekend. Get out. They're the, married. The vanquished American Idol finalist and her Dancing with the Stars boo dined out in, with fellow dancers Maxim Chermovsky and Tony Davalani. Mark even invited his mom Shirley along. Things must be getting serious. Dun, dun, mm-hmm. dun. Yeah. Uh, so maybe wow. they just skipped the whole dating thing and went straight to marriage. I uh, doubt it. I doubt it, too. I mean... I mean, but uh, crazier things have happened. Maybe he's just wearing, like... Because it, it, it looked like a big ring, 
for him, and, and maybe he's just wearing it as like a symbol of oh. I'm taken. This, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear my ring on this finger too. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh my god, are you married? I'm totally married. Oh my god. I'm totally you got married. married just now. I did, just now. I was like this. Will you? Yes, I will. And that was it. I just asked myself. You I married, married myself. Yourself. I married New York one time while I was there. I was like, someone in the audience asked me if I would marry them. And I said, you know what? I'll just marry New York. So I married New York. Yes. Yes. They're going to do that. Yes. And I Let's just say, did that. New York's my wife. Mm-hmm. And that's your After Buzz TV, Dancing with the Stars, News and Gossip. Yay. Yay. So this week's special segment, I was going to have much more fantastic information, but my car got towed, and we're not going to talk about it. We are <laughs> not talking about the towing <laughs> incident anymore. <laughs> um, but I do want to talk about what we think are the best celebrity jobs to have before you become a contestant on Dancing with the Stars. Like, does it help if you are an ice skater? Does it help if you are a dancer does it and you know do these things end up affecting you in the long run i that's a good question i think that it helps if you're a dancer but then you st- it's like you still really have to come through like nicole did right mm-hmm. she was a trained dancer yes performer etc but she came through you right know, if you're were previously a dancer mm-hmm. and then you like haven't danced in a long time and mm-hmm. you don't really do it anymore then it might work against you because it might expect more mm-hmm. but uh, i don't know what would be the best one I think if you can laugh at yourself, it helps. Mm. Because we've noticed with Kendra, she's so hard on herself. And like she's always known for being the sexy blah, 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 playboy girl. Um, She's just, she can't laugh at herself very much with this. Ah, So you think it's really, really a mental thing, really? I do. I think that Kirsty, the fact that she was a comedian before, helps out because she's like, oh. You're not making fun of me. I'm making fun of myself. Yeah, she is. She definitely takes control of that whole thing. Yeah. None of us have ever made fun of her for being a big girl. No. None of us have ever made fun of her for being anything. Mm-mm. You know. Uh, because yeah, she just right does it herself. So I think that helps. I think being a performer helps. Like with mm-hmm. Chris Jericho. Like I think yeah. he's very good at performing. Yeah. But when he's not comfortable in it, mm-hmm. he gets very like in his face and in his mouth and stuff is going on that's not supposed to you know and that kind of goes along with what you said about um uh, chelsea she has to be a competitor she's a Why performer you getting all low and like sexy into the microphone oh well i mean that was serious <laughs> but you know if i'm sexy by accident i mean that's not my fault I mean, you know. ah, just playing but uh no but but chelsea you're right she must have been a competitor mm-hmm. because she's a performer like chris jericho yeah and it's about winning the spot. It's about, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. So yeah, okay. and I think, and if you've ever heard Jericho's responses to some stuff, yes, when they ask him, oh, who do you think is your biggest competitor? He's like, all oh, these guys are fantastic. Blah blah blah. That's what you learn. Yes, that's not your real answer. Right. Your right, real right. answer in your head is like, oh, that girl's doing good. No, it's like every any time, like at a basketball game when they interview the players, you know, right. they say, oh man, you did really good. Well, you know, I just go out there and I do the best I can, help my team, you know. <laughs> It's the same answer every time. Well, I try to be a team player, and <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what is what movie is that from? Um, it's it is from that movie. The de- uh, b- b- d- devil, d- devil. Yes, yes. It is and that, he gets turned into the. Yes. He's like, I'm an idiot. Yeah, well, you know, I just go out there and, and I get the best be I can. Try to be the best I can. You know, work a team player good and be a team player. And my coach is great. And oh <laughs> man, um, and then. Ralph must have been a perfectionist in all of his acting duties because when he crosses over into that actor's realm yes. of like, this is what I have to do because this is what I'm playing this week. Yes. Like he was so angry this week and other weeks you've seen other sides yes. of him. No, you're right about that. You know, so I think, I yeah. don't know, it's hard to say because when I was looking at all the histories, it's been so just across the board, like football players, like this, like that. Well, obviously, being a talk show host is not very helpful. No. You know, that doesn't really do anything for you. If your um, name is Crazy Mike. Be it, be it radio or TV, Wendy Williams. 
uh, that doesn't really, yeah, it didn't really add anything. Like, no. oh, great, she can host a talk show. Mm-hmm. Now she's going to go Dancing with the Stars. Uh-uh. I wonder if age, maybe we'll talk about age next week. Age. We'll see what age has everybody's been. I have okay. a feeling it's going to be 30s. Age will take you a long way. Yeah. If you're young, mm-hmm. damn it, you can do some good stuff. Yeah, but if you're too young, you can't move your hips, Chelsea. Yeah, you got to be in touch with your body. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And some of them are, and some of them aren't. Very good question. Yes. A uh, host. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, <Yeah>. co-host. <laughs> <laughs> like it. I'm all like interested. <laughs> I'm gonna check out age next week. Next okay. week's special segment is gonna be age. Okay, let's so, do that. Yeah. Um, predictions? Any predictions? <laughs> Who's? Oh. Now, you're after Buzz TV. <laughs> okay, predictions. Um, Who's going to get voted off? Who's getting voted off? Yeah. Who do you think? God, we are down to... Nothing. We are down here. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, it's not going to mm-hmm. be Ralph. I mean, you know what? To me, I think Hines should be gone. I mean, just vote him <laughs> off, okay? You know, because guess what? We don't want to see him dance anymore. I don't want to see him dance. No, but oh. I want to see Karina dance. Yeah, or Karina, Kim. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I have to vote. <laughs> I got to vote for Heinz and Kim. You do have to vote for him. You'll be so upset next week. Is You're the gonna voting be like, over? Oh, my God. Look at it. We can vote still? You, you can go if you want. I'll finish can it off. <laughs> yeah, go. Vote for Kim. Peace out. <laughs> vote for Kim. You're going to have a shirt I, <laughs> every I, week. Vote for Kim. <laughs> I, I, I think I might have to do that. Uh, but I do. Yeah, I need her to wash my car. Uh, yes. <laughs> From, with, please wear the dress from last week. With the white <laughs> car washing dress. Please. Uh, all right. I'm throwing this out there. Uh, it's going to be either Kendra or Chris because Chris has been in the bottom before. So has Kendra. Well... We don't know if they're in the bottom because we don't... But score-wise, they've been in the bottom. Are you sure? Yes. I thought that when they put those two people together, we... Oh, no, no. What I mean is yeah, they've been know. bottom scorers before. Oh, oh, oh like, you mean when they show the score, yes. the score they show. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna say you're right, but I'm going to say Kendra before Chris. I, I would think. think Kendra before Chris, too. We've but been surprised before, though. We've been surprised before. We thought Wendy had a big fan base, but... You know. Yeah, well, apparently those fans didn't want to see her feet every day. <laughs> I don't want to see pictures of your feet. Don't show pictures <laughs> of your feet. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't exist. And Courtney, she really doesn't exist. But I liked having just you. I liked so having just you. So maybe next week we'll just not have them you back. You know what? They can stay wherever just they are. Stay where you are. We don't need you. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, host. <laughs> From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.